All right, welcome photographers. We are on our last video of our HoneyBook tutorial series. So I hope you enjoyed it so far. So today we're talking all about scheduler and project details to get you ready to go with HoneyBook. So again, we're on our home screen to get to the scheduler. We're gonna to go to tools and scheduling. And this is how we create that calendar. Real quick, if you have a Google Calendar that you would love to sync up with your HoneyBook, you can do that by clicking over this toggle piece up here, and then you can sign in your Google and sync it all together if you would prefer. Okay, so you can create a new session type for any kind of session that you do. If you're a photographer that does family sessions, senior sessions, weddings, all that stuff, you can make a different session type for every different type that you have. So for example, let's go ahead and create one. So we'll know new session type. So here you're going to put, you know, if, it, if it's an in-person session, so if it's your photography session, it'll be in person, a video, like if you're doing a zoom call, the planet, you can click that here or a phone call. So let's say in person, then we'll title it. We'll just say a portrait session for, for the sake of this video. And then location, you can put if that's like a same look, like if you do a mini session one time and you can set up like the exact location, that's gonna be the same for everybody. But for indefinitely for portrait sessions and stuff, I wouldn't put that. Um, time zone, if you need to change that, I'm gonna say mountain time because that's what I'm in. Uh, duration, let's give it an hour. So you can say one hour or 60 minutes, either way. And then when the session can be scheduled, I usually say indefinitely, but if you have a rolling window or fixed date range, you can do that as well. But I like to just manually put in the dates that I can do. And then, um, you know, select a color for the session type if you want. The instructions, that's good. If you need to give any specific instructions on the like confirmation email to your clients, then you're welcome to put that in here. Um, and then invite reminders. So before their session, so you can do, you know, a week before their session, a day before their session, you can choose that here, probably not one minute before their session. Um, or you don't have to do any reminders or you can just do one and you can just exit out that way. Or you can add a reminder that way. So pretty easy to use. And then we'll say next availability. And this is where we plug in the exact specific times of the session day. So you would go into your calendar um, and then you can just hover over the date and click edit. And then let's say it's an evening session. Um, you just roll down, let's say like five to six. And then if you, we can do two things. Like you can add another time. Like let's say you do a sunrise session. You can do a morning one if that's available to you, if you want to do that. Um, or I could probably just type it in would be faster. AM. And you can apply this to all Mondays if you know for the rest of the year you're going to have the exact same schedule, but most photographers don't. So I just click that off and then I hit save. And so that way you can see the next Monday you'll have to go and change it. So now let's say Tuesdays you're unavailable completely and you do want to have that on the rest of the year, then I can just click that, remove, and then apply remove availability and then apply to all Tuesdays and save. And then when you're clicking through the next weeks, you can see that Tuesdays are totally blank. So that's a fast way to edit your schedule as well. So you'll just go in and fill in all the details of the days that you're available for your sessions. And you can do buffers again, if you're scheduling like back to back mini sessions and you want like 15 minutes or 10 minutes in between before or after the session, you can plug that in there. Um, minimum notice if you need, you know, for your lifestyle, if you need at least two days notice before someone schedules something, obviously you can put that in there. And then custom increments, I don't usually use, but you can, you're welcome to use that as well. And then next is the confirmation email. So this is gonna auto populate all the, you know, the date, the time, location, etc. And it says it's not edible, of course, cause it's gonna be auto. And then any other notes or messages you wanna put in here, you're welcome to do that. Um, if you don't even wanna send them a confirmation email, you don't have to, you just toggle that off. But obviously most of, most of us wanna do that. Um, you can either allow rescheduling or not, or allow cancellations, um, the client cancel, the client being able to cancel it or not. So you can choose that and then save and finish. And then you can copy this link now or you can grab, I'll show you another way to grab it. So if you wanna preview what your calendar would look like for that specific type, you can come over to your portrait session, this is the one we just made, and then hit preview, the little eyeball there. And this is what your client's gonna see if you send them this link. So they're gonna see the available times that they can choose to edit and sign up on, which is pretty cool. Go back. And then if you just wanna grab the link real quick, you can come over to this link here and just click that and it'll say, 
um, copy or link copied, or if you ever need to edit, you can edit that. Or if you have many sessions going on for a certain amount of time, but then you don't want it to be scheduled later, you can literally just disable that specific session type so that no one can schedule that, which is totally fine as well. So HoneyBook is pretty robust and it's pretty nice scheduler. So that's kind of the scheduler in a nutshell. Okay, so let's talk about projects. So anytime you get a new client, you're gonna create a new project. That's what HoneyBook calls them. And you can do this in several different ways. So I, I think the easiest one is to come up here and say plus new, and I'll say new project. And then you'll name the project's name. We'll just, I already created one, but I'm still gonna just say test so you guys can see. Um, and then you can choose the event. So uh, you can create a new project type if this is not in there. Um, we'll just say family. If you know where they came from, you can put that there, which is helpful for just you knowing where your popular lead sources are. You can change the time zone. And if you already know the project date, you can enter it here. But if you don't know that already, then that's totally fine. So project date again is like the date of their session or whatever um, event you have going on. So we'll create project there. And then it'll ask you to put in their address and then their name. Um, and you definitely don't want to skip that because that's like <laughs> the key important for you to communicate with them. So if your uh, client had filled out this form on your contact page on your website, then HoneyBook will automatically have all this information in for their project type. But if you're needing to, um, if someone's just, in, you know, messaging you on another email or your Instagram and says you want to move forward and you have to manually enter them, you can do that here. So I just wanted to show you that this is what you would do. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in into that test project I created in the last video just to make things easier. Again, you can have this banner image, you can always change it if you want, but this is where you'll see all the participants. So again, if you were had a couple, you could add a second person to this or a parent to this if you're a senior photographer like me. Um, so then anytime, just know that anytime you add a participant, whenever you send a file or an email, it's gonna send it to all the participants on the project. So keep that in mind when you are adding people. Um, and then what's nice is down here in the activity, you can see it's kind of like a Facebook feed or Instagram feed. It's like we can see where all the communication is, which I really like. So any kind of like all the emails will be stacked together here. You'll be able to see when they've read the email or when they haven't, which is really helpful knowing that if someone's actually opening up your emails, opening the files that you sent. Um, and if you wanna just like quickly look at the files that you sent, you can come over to this section and anytime you've sent an invoice, proposal contract, all that stuff will be here, which is really nice. You can also see if they've made payments or what their payment schedule is um, in here and then any other project details that you can um, that you need to know about the event, especially if you're like a wedding photographer and you need to have like private notes to you, maybe like um, <laughs> something about like the mother of the bride or something that you don't want your client to see. You, you can see that says private details only visible to you. So if you need to make some note here, you're welcome to do that here just to keep you organized, which I really love. Now, just to send them a new email, all you have to do is click here and it's going to reply to the last activity. If you don't want to reply to the last email that you sent, you can also say start a new message. And again, this is where all those templates come plug and play. Um, you can write a message here just to begin with, or if you have an email template to send, you can send it there. Um, you can even like schedule emails, which is really cool. So if you're working really late at night or really early in the morning, cause maybe you're a mom or something, but you don't want your clients to know they have access to you at like 10 o'clock at night, you can write all your emails, get it done and schedule this in, which I think is super magical. You also can just easily, like if you need to send an invoice or proposal now, like maybe you've been talking to the project for a while and now you're ready to set them up and book them, you can easily just so create new and it'll give you all the option. You can give a new proposal, invoice, contract, brochure, all that stuff. And what's really cool is once you have done this a couple times, if you click on it, it's gonna show you like your most recent proposal and odds are you use that one a lot. So you can click that and it's gonna like use it as a template, which is really nice, it'll save you time. You can also schedule them really fast. Like if you are scheduling that portrait session that we just made, you can schedule here and then write in all the details and it'll automatically email them a notification and get them on the schedule. So really handy, really easy to use. You can also send their client portal link really easy with this link right here, which again, if you remember, you send the link and then they put their email and a password and then they'll be able to come to this page right here where they can see all the communication and all the image or all the payments and stuff that they've done if they're starting to ask like 
you know, where am I at with the payment schedule and da 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 da. So you can just send that to them and they can get access to what you see. All right, guys, that is HoneyBook. In a nutshell, there is still so much to explore with HoneyBook. I do want to encourage, we didn't even talk about um, brochures and pipelines and workflows, etc. Like it has such a powerful tool, but I also know it's overwhelming. So I hope these videos were helpful enough. And I trust me, if you do everything in these three videos that we created, you'll be well on your way to making HoneyBook work for you and making your life so much easier as an entrepreneur and photographer. Again, I have to remind you, if you haven't already, you can get eight months for only $8 for HoneyBook. So you can use the whole program at its full capacity for eight months to decide if it's a really good fit for you and if it'll work in your photography business for only $8. If you wanna get that deal, the link is down in the description box below. It is an affiliate link, so if you do choose to use it and use HoneyBook later down on the road, I do get a small kickback, so I like to be totally transparent on that, which I so, so appreciate. That's what helps me keep making content videos like this, and I just wanna say thank you if you choose to go that route. Um, but you absolutely don't have to. If you already have HoneyBook, I hope this was helpful. And until the next one, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.